Hey, how's it going, guys? It's me, Mike, and today I'm going to show you guys how to create that cool tiger's eye wallpaper. So it consists of like two images and some text, and it's easy. I'm going to show you guys how to make it, and also you could kind of do this to create like a tattoo design. I'm going to show you that. Um, I'm not probably going to go through the, all the steps, but I'm going to, uh, you know, guide you through it in a way of creating like maybe your own tattoo design, something like that. Alright, so I'm going to go right into Photoshop, and this is the image that I've created. Um, I created, I had an image of a tiger, um, an image of flames, and I, you know, motion blurred the flames, and then I did some um, layer masks to kind of remove some of the tiger, because I wanted to kind of look like it was inside of the flames. Also, I kind of, um, not kind of, I put in some text with tiger's eye to kind of match the same, um, you know, same color scheme that's going on with the whole wallpaper. And of course the background is black to kind of give it like this step to the wallpaper like that. Um, something like that. Alright, so I'm working with a 1440 by 900 and um, so you could use whatever um, size you're doing for let's say your desktop wallpaper or something. Alright, so okay. Alright, so first off I'll, I'll press Control i to inverse the color to black alright and then I'm gonna go to file place and then basically you just look up um, look for your images I'm just gonna go ahead quickly and go to my images where I have it saved alright so here's the tiger image and also I'm gonna upload the these images to my website you got so you guys can follow along and probably use these images for any of any project you probably have alright so I'm gonna go to file place again and up um, and place in the fire image just like that now the way this is gonna be layered is simple alright now the way I um this um, image actually placed in quite nicely fits the whole screen the tiger fits in you know you know okay so first off I'm gonna make a copy of this fire image so I'm just gonna press control J on my keyboard to make a copy and I'm just gonna um, change I'm just gonna make it invisible for right now so I can work with the tiger layer so with the tiger I wanna drop the opacity so I can kinda see where this tiger is gonna be in the um, fire so as you can see I dropped the opacity and I just want to nudge it down a little bit with my um, keyboard I mean my arrow keys or just with your mouse and kind of see where I want it to look where I want it to be at so right there looks perfect the eyes are pretty much inside of the flames and from now I'm gonna put the opacity back up and then I'm gonna go to its blending options and select darken so just select darken from the um, blending options so as you can see darken kind of takes effect of the tiger and um, I'm just gonna uh, use the layer mask and layer mask on the tiger select a brush or press B on the keyboard and I have it uh, set to 125 on the, um, the the brush and I have the softness set to 0 or the hardness set to 0 so I'm just removing all the hard spots or the lines from the tiger image itself so I can kind of blend a little bit more um, maybe erase a lot of the unnecessary um, things that's inside of the image like that and then I'm going to take that second image that we copied of the flames and make that visible and then I'm gonna place it behind the all the layers and then I'm gonna go to filter blur motion blur and I have it set to 69 and the distance at 387 and press OK and um, actually I'm gonna actually push this at the very uh, right behind the tiger layer in fact like that let me see is that gonna work out alright um, I have to do screen so for the blending options go over to screen that's gonna take away all the black in that layer like that and pretty much I think I could put it right back behind there no, it's not gonna work out that way. All right. So, just like that. So you kind of see where this is going. So I'm just gonna zoom in again for you guys. And um, select my brush, and then I'm gonna select that layer mask, and I'm gonna 
erase some of the stuff that doesn't need to be there to kind of make it look a little more realistic so you can if you want keep the um the stripes of the tiger within the flames um then again you can erase it i mean you could keep it but then you can erase it to kind of give it a little more of an effect um also you can all um google um some tiger stripes on online and then place it within the background flames or something like that to kind of give it more of a a pattern effect like that so that looks pretty good i like that now i'm going to select my text and um it's kind of funny the way this, the name of this font is called, called. It's called Ink in the Meat. You can find this on dafont.com. That's D-A font, F-O-N-T dot com. And then search, search that name up, Ink in the Meat. And you should be able to get this font. Alright, so I'm going to type in Tiger's Eye. I might just put Tiger Eye. Tiger Eyes. Just like that, and press OK. And the font I'm using is about 18 pixels, or 18 points. And then I already have a layer style copied for it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and paste it in there. Um, there we go. So I'm just gonna nudge it down a little bit. And then at the end, I might want to put maybe my website or something like that. Um, cmykarts.com. Please, guys, check that website out. I'll be posting a lot of video tutorials there and for you guys to check out and um, also share with others. Um, so I might put this at 3, just like that. Okay, cmykarts.com. And that's how you create a Tiger's Eye wallpaper, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and most importantly, subscribe to my videos for more upcoming Photoshop graphic design craft and software reviews on this channel. Um, I won't become a YouTube partner because of um, Google disabling my account, but that's neither here nor there. Just please subscribe to my channel, guys, for more um, graphic design tutorials on Photoshop CS5 and more art-related um, videos. Please visit um, cmykarts.com for more um, blog updates and things I'll be posting up there, like resources, um, the images for this video, and much more. Alright, peace.